Namaste Capricorn. So this is your next 24 hours reading, past, present, and future intertwined. So, you know, the... The message is, you know, in regards to your perspective here. Okay? How you perceive things. As well as your thought process. Which has a lot to do with how we perceive things. You know? And vice versa. How we perceive things affects how we think. And what we think about. And what we think about and how we think affects how we perceive things. So I'm seeing a, you know, sudden change in your thought process here. As well as change for you is undergoing a form of trans, uh, transition. It's transitioning change for you. And this, you know, ties into how you communicate. It's as though you are, you know, experiencing a mental death during the eighth month. I also see some of you losing a sibling. Oh, <laughs> Sun in Capricorn, Moon in, in Sagittarius, Virgo Rising, Mars in Virgo, as well as... Uh, those born during the year of the rooster, okay? I see some of you um, losing a sibling, and I see it being a shock. I'm not, not really that it's surprising, but, you know, um, that it, it it's something that, you know, manifested or happened. I, I see it, you know, uh, sudden, I see it sudden, okay? But I feel like this person, they were sick unbeknownst to you for some of you this is a lover So this, you know, this lover, this person you live with, you know, um, I, I sense it's someone you live with, you know, a sibling or a lover that you live with. I see, you know, um, them suddenly transitioning. Yeah, I'm definitely getting death here for someone. As well as this can be a working contract between you and your sibling coming to an end. Communication between you and your sibling coming to an end. I, you know, I feel like someone here is going to discover something shocking in regards to a sibling, okay? You know, if it is that you ha you've had a wonderful relationship with your sibling, okay, I'm seeing where that's going to be transformed, okay, to something very, you know, um, hateful or, you know, um, I see where you and your sibling, you know, separate and go in your separate ways some of you you may live with this person some of you may work with this person but i feel like maybe someone's going to discover that their sibling tried to kill them Maybe this sibling of yours was pl plotting your demise with, you know, um, a lover of theirs or a friend of theirs. They were plotting your end, your demise.
Alright, I'm gonna go into the into the cards. But your perspective is going to be changed here, okay? And this could have a lot to do with what you are going to discover or what you have probably already discovered because we're you know on the 12th day in the eighth month okay so you might have already you know caught wind of this you may also find out that a sibling of yours was jealous of someone you were looking at, someone you were watching, you know, you could find that, you know, your sibling was secretly jealous, your sibling was jealous of this person. This could be someone you were watching on social media. And I feel like this is going to, you know, also, you know, this could be also what's going to, for some of you, cause a rift between you and your, you know, sibling. Okay, so we got a Nine of Swords and the Eight of Cups. I also see um, the way in which you perceive someone here uh, different. Also, your perspective on foreigners or people from, you know, people overseas from foreign countries, I see your perspective on them, your feelings towards them uh, changing. How you see foreigners are changing. That's changing. Your perspective on foreigners are changing. This is going to be a sudden change in how you feel and how you about these people and how you see them. I feel like maybe this could be because I mean this could be because you um um you probably were married to one and you know it was just really a nightmare. Maybe this person was very petty and jealous. Maybe this person was a thief also, a user. I feel like maybe you 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 held, you know, foreigners, you know, uh, in high regards and you know, you're realizing that, you know, your know, people are people, you know, regardless of where they're from. I feel like you're going to realize that, you know, Good and bad people come from, you know, anywhere, you know, locally you can find good people, bad people, internationally you can find bad people, good people, it just really ma doesn't matter where these people are from, you know, it's just pretty much, um, you know, maybe some of you are going to come across someone, you know, from your community who is, you know, or your country who is, you know, a really good person. And that too is going to, you know, for some of you, change your perspective. As well as some of you might have come into a foreigner who was just really petty and jealous and, you know, disgusting. <laughs> you know, uh, toxic, you know, selfish, self-centered, a user. I think maybe you had that perspective of local people and, you know, you're realizing that, you know, people are people. As well as, you know, for some of you, I think that this perspective is just pretty much because you you you, you see someone, you know, um, in your local community or your country who, you know, happens to be, you know, just different, apart from the usual types that you come across. And that's just going to change your perspective. I feel like, you know, some of you are going to want to, you know, see this person, connect with this person. Um... I see also sudden marriage for some of you. I do see sudden marriage for some of you. And I feel like this, you know, this marriage that you're, you're coming into with this person from your country or your community, it's just, you know, um, I feel like the frequencies that I see there in the seventh house, I feel like it's going to be 
absolute and when i say absolute i feel like um something that's going to i feel like it is time as a matter of fact for you to tie the knot um and i feel like this you know this is the right one that's what i'm also getting i feel like um it's a good time it's a good year it's a good time to tie the knot and i feel like you know um this marriage is going to um be concrete it's going to endure it's going to be enduring uh it's going to last in other words i feel like it's going to last saturn cycles or you know i'm getting it's time for you to experience a saturn cycle with this person okay i get you know this is your karma this person is your karma this person you know is who you yeah i feel like this person is a dream lover you know someone uh who you sub subconsciously you know been you know thinking about someone who you know subconsciously is the right fit for you through and through i feel like you know maybe you both are twin flames maybe you know you both are a lot alike that's what I'm getting you guys are a lot alike I feel like uh, you guys are gonna have um, a beautiful connection I, I am getting that so um nine of uh, yeah and that's why it's going to be solid with that Capricorn frequency okay all right so I got the nine of swords there the eight of cups and the five of wands oh and there's a five of wands again okay so it's time so um Like you said, your perspective is changing with the nine of wands, nine of swords, I should say. It's changing how you see, how you see and perceive is changing. And with the eight of cups, that's you know a deep transformation. It's like, and I also what I was also getting, I just remembered, you know, you know, with, you know the deep transformation. I get that, you know, how you see, you know you know awkward people um you know the aquarius that aquarius kind of frequency i get get that you're gonna feel more connected to you know you know people of that you know um frequency people who are set apart people who are not like the normal kind of people people you know people who are just different so i feel like you are going to you know um realize you like you know people who uh, who's got that aquarius frequency who who are just weird in other words that society considers weird it's like i feel like you're realizing that you're weird you like weird shit you like weird people and i feel like you know even if this is a black person i feel like it's someone who has aquarius highly aspect and now clarifying the nine of swords is the five of swords two of cups So definitely someone is undergoing a, an ego, ego death, the death of the ego, death of the ego. Your ego is, you know, being suddenly transformed and changed because your perspective, how you see things and people is, it's changing. Okay. You, you're having a transformation. And of course, this is going to um, be exuded externally with the seven of cups. Because I've got clarifying the nine of swords, the five of swords, two of cups, seven of cups. So, you know, someone is, you know, uh, their ego is being suddenly changed. And with the two of cups, you are having a transformation. And I feel like, you know, this is also you suddenly falling in love with someone here. I feel like you're watching someone. This could be online, someone's social media, an Aquarian, someone who's got Aquarius highly aspected. And suddenly you are in love with this person. You want to marry this person. You never met this person but i feel like you're in love with this person just by watching this person oh my god <laughs> i'm getting that and that ties into what i saw in the arraignment of frequencies for you um sudden marriage and you know with the five of swords the two of cups and the seven of cups that is sudden marriage because you are sure that this is the one for you because you know it's the time okay it's the time i feel like 
for you. El Capitan, okay? Yeah, uh, Roosters, okay? It's time for you to tie the knot. I feel like you've been playing the field for a long time. And now you just want to, you know, you want to settle down. You want stability because you are an earth sign. You're an earth frequency. Though you are you were more tied to your wealth, your reputation. And I also see, you know, um... Uh, where some of you, what you consider reputable and prestigious is changing, okay? And I feel like you're becoming more spiritual, okay? You are, you know, uh, not religious, spiritual. You know, you are, like I said, undergoing uh, the death of the ego. Where in which, you know, uh, all that you used to know and believe... You know, all of that is changing. And I feel so, you know, just tapping into the Akashic Records, I just felt this this change in frequencies. It's like, um, where am I? What day is it? I mean, what what age is it? It's like nothing feels the same. And I feel like that's how you feel. You just feel that's that's the death of the ego. Okay? So, you know, you're an earth frequency and all earth frequencies value stability. You know, you, you value, you know, that the wealth more than the other earth frequencies. And that's because um, you are wealth. Okay, that's Capricorn. Uh, but I feel like, you know, you've been there. You've done that. And now you want to experience the other aspect of being an earth frequency, which is, you know, stability, stable uh, relationships, stable, a stable, intimate relationship. Okay, so going into the Eight of Cups, that deep transformation. That's like Pluto in Scorpio. So you could have your Pluto in Scorpio. When you are, you know, undergoing death, it is a deep death. It is, you know, like the death of the ego. So that Pluto in Scorpio is like, um, you, know, the, you know, Five of Wands or even Five of Swords, okay? Or even Five of Cups, death of the ego, transformation of the ego, okay? So we got the Four of Swords uh, for the Eight of Cups. Okay. Someone's feeling different. Like I said, I just said it before the card, you know, came out. Someone, you know, Four, four of Swords, you know, someone's feeling different. And the Three of Wands. Four of Swords, Three of Wands. So, you know, mental death as well with that three of wands, as well as, you know, um, maybe this is something that someone said to you that makes you feel different, okay? This person, they said something very eye-opening, you know? It is something that the, this person says. I feel like this person, when they talk, they can, you know, they, 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 they cause a change, you know, they cause a change. They can cause people to undergo mental deaths, you know, to look into themselves and to perceive things differently. I feel like this is a very logical, but, you know, spiritual, because they're pulling you over to the spiritual um, aspect of your being. That's your seventh house. But, you know, I feel like this is someone, you know, they, they're balanced. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so they, you know, make spiritual and logical sense. And the, the spiritual is, you know, logical, you know. If you got enough sense to connect the dots. So, Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. Okay, so I got a Four of Swords, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands, clarifying the Eight of Cups. Okay, also, if you like something changed between you and a lover here or a sibling, and that too, you know, could be affecting your perspective um, on life and things, you know, and you know, could be triggering this Eight of Cups, or vice versa, this, oh, this Eight of Cups, Pluto in Scorpio, could be, you know, you, um, could be causing a change between the relationship that you have with a current lover or a sibling of yours, um, I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, this is a lover, for some of you, it's a sibling, for some of you, it's a both, because, like, it's like, you know, 
you're seeing things differently so therefore who you were you know you're not that person anymore but people around you this lover this sibling or both could want you to be the same to remain the same but you you cannot i mean change is the only thing that's constant and if you want to elevate you gotta submit and give in to change yield to change change is natural means stagnant is not when you're stagnated that means something is wrong there is a backup there's a a a, a um a sickness there and a flaw a sickness in the system that needs to be eradicated or you know taken care of healed or you know cleared away so you know you're undergoing a deep transformation i also feel like someone here this deep transformation is you strongly desiring spirituality to become more in tune and connected with your spirit as well as you know it is for some of you to you know also it could be all of these three okay um uh you you know um desiring you know to be more spiritual as well as you know you you know desiring you know commitment like i said you're an earth frequency you desiring uh marriage okay for that eight of cups okay um so you know it could be all 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 of the above okay and see you know someone in, you know how you feel is changing you know how you you know project yourself to the public with a self of sorts is changing um what you consider you know um how you want to be perceived as a public that's changing with that seven of swords don't allow people to put you back into your old skin okay the six of um the six of swords um is is is, is that transformation you shed in your skin as well as the six of cups okay it's, it's, it's you shed no the six of swords my apologies it's you shedding your skin okay um, whether suddenly or you know, you know timely, you know, it's you shedding your skin. It's the snake shedding its skin, you know, it's your thought process changing and when that changes your perspective and how your public persona they all change along with your thought process because how one thinks affects everything else and vice versa. So how you feel and how you communicate, your public image is changing because of that Ten of Wands. You are entering a new Saturn cycle. Five of Wands, clarifying the Five of Wands, rightly so. Because it's time for a change. I'm going to tell you already what that Five of Wands means. means. It's time for a change. Capricorn. Okay, it's time for you to change. We're not called to, you know, remain the same. You know, that's for people who, you know, won't ever elevate. You know, you see them CEOs, they, they change, you know. You know, it might not necessarily be their, you know, physical forms or image, but, you know, the products that their companies offer, they, they change. And the ones who do not change, they always get lost in the sauce and, you know, someone, you know, eventually comes and take their spot. So, you know, clarifying the Five of Wands is the Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, um, it's time for you to have a new beginning with that Two of Wands, okay? Okay, there's a change to your perspective as well, you know, with that Two of Wands, okay? And also, you know, it's as though spirit is prompting you. And at the bottom of the deck is your frequency, King of Pentacles. And beneath that, King of Wands, which is, you know, also an aspect of you. You know, big boss, little boss, okay? <laughs> so it's a new beginning for you, big boss, okay? But, you know, with the Two of Wands, it's like, um, as I was saying, spirit is like, it's like a prompt. It's like the Five of Wands here is like spirit, you know, is giving you an advice here and clarifying that we have the two of wands it's time for you to reach out to this person okay we got we have the three of pentacles um you know maybe this is you know you sending them a message you calling them and i feel like you know you and this person you're going to be working together okay i feel like whatever you know i mean this can be spiritual work okay but this can also be spiritual and physical work you working together you know on a spiritual for a spiritual pur 
purpose on a physical tangible job okay this can also you know with the three of pentacles you know include communicating you know social media or this is just pretty much you know and or this could just pretty much you you know be prompted to just reach out to them call them or send them a message or something and this like i said could be in regards to a job or something very tangible okay so um I feel like with this new beginning, you know, the King of Pentacles, King of Wands, okay? So, you could be the big boss here. They could be the little boss. You know, you're bringing them into something. And, you know, I feel like it's with the Four of Cups, it's going to be very fruitious with that. I'm getting double cancer frequency. You know, it's like springtime, okay? Yeah, because springtime, you know, it's about that time. Like every season, you know, is the beginning of spring. I, 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 yeah, it's the beginning of spring. But right, you know, you know, also no, no, cancer season is the beginning of of summer. That's what I should say. So I feel like you know, spring come in, putting the work together. You're gonna put in the work with this person. I feel like your winter, um, let me just say that, that sounds, that's not me, you know, uh, taking a jab at you, but, you know, that's Capricorn, okay, um, that's why you're that cold earth frequency, but, you know, they're warm, they're springtime, okay, and together, you, you guys can come together and create a beautiful balance, you know, with that summer frequency, they're gonna thaw your ice a bit, and whatever project both of you are going to be working on is going to bring up forth a lot of fruits harvest that summertime when people when we harvest um um a lot of fruits okay not all all the ty different types of food but you know fruits in general so with this you know double uh cancer frequency i get i'm getting summer frequency you know you know harvest time you and them coming to, and this could um of course be you and them procreating bringing forth i'm getting beautiful children okay with the ton of swords i feel like you know these are gonna be beautiful children with the four of cups ten of swords beautiful skin i'm getting beautiful skin i don't know that just like you know ton of swords can mean a, a numerous amount of things as well as the four of cups but i feel like you know um that's what spirit's saying to me i don't know if that's a concern of yours but <laughs> but with the four of cups you know it's like this person or this union is it's gonna be very fruitful and i feel like this person is going to i feel like you're gonna procreate very quickly with this person it's a you know you know romantic business connection it's like one of them you know connections where husband and wife they work so closely together they work together okay and it's, it's pretty much a time for that with the you know whole pandemic and all of that people you know having to you know practice social distancing um, but you know this is going to be a very fruitful connection okay and i see you know someone is very fertile here and so I'm seeing, you know, with the Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords, someone's going to suddenly conceive. You know, there's going to be sudden procreation here. Um, sudden marriage I'm getting also. And beautiful children. I don't know, Capricorn. But you, you, you deal with reputation. So maybe skin is a, you know, a huge thing for you. Because, I mean, like, you rule the skin. Then again. But these children are going to be very beautiful beautiful children and i feel like these children are going to be like you know uh, not you know in the physical sense but in a you know very energetic sense replicas of you and this person because like i said it's as though you and them are like the same yeah but you know one mask and one feminine it's like you know you have high morals and ethics and values and so do they and that's gonna you know bring beautiful children you know Good seed, good soil, I'm getting. And, you know, with the hangman, you know, this is going to be a relationship of a lifetime. So with the four of cups, ten of swords, the hangman, you know, this is going to be a relationship. I feel like this is going to last for your entire life, for the rest of your life. Okay? Even when the seasons change, it's going to still remain the same. 
not in a boring sense but in a very you know uh faithful uh committed sense because i like i said you know i feel like you and this person and there here's the ace of swords in reverse so it's not it's nothing when the seasons change you know whether good or bad you know this person they're gonna stick with you through you know you know the good and the bad you know thick or thin this person will be with you because like i said you know i feel like this person they're a lot like you this could be another earth frequency that you're dealing with you know Woo, sila oh my god okay so you're dealing with someone who's got earth island aspect whether this is their year uh this could be someone born during the year of the, the snake or the year of the ox or there could be a sun in Virgo, a sun in Taurus, um, but this is this is definitely another Earth frequency, and you know you both value stability. All the cards, almost all of them, fell out of my hand, on you know, on the on the floor. All right, the moment I said this could be another Earth frequency, so this is definitely another Earth frequency. Both of you value stability, and you you know about you know um. The seasons hardship you know uh, the good and the bad and so you know that you know nothing you know lasts forever and therefore you know um, when the good comes appreciate it when the bad comes you know just endure you know and you know with that being said I'm gonna leave that there you know you know you and this person you have a lot of like and that's going to um, you know be very you know um, beneficial for both of you and your children, because that's stability for children, you know. So I'm going to leave it there for you, uh, Capricorn. You have the rooster, moon, and uh, Sagittarius, uh, Virgo rising in this day. And Mars in Virgo, okay. All right, it could be another, or Capricorn, because, like, you know, Mars in Virgo, okay. So whichever of these aspects you belong to, you're dealing with someone who's got Earth highly aspected as well, the mystic.